it's the holiday season and we're all about decorating inside and outside. We're going to make this beautiful tree. Join us. Hi, this is Tweek. We're at my favorite time of year and today we're going to work on a project for outside. What you'll need is some wood, some glue, some Christmas lights, a little bit of paint, and it is a fun project, so let's go. The supplies you'll need for this project are three one by four by six pine boards, some outside wood glue, brads and staples, a string of outdoor lights, white, green, and brown exterior paint, some brass hooks, and plastic ornament discs that you will be stuffing with tinsel. We begin this project by setting up our pattern. Once you decide how long you want your tree to be or how tall you'd like it to be, ours is four branches high, and you can make yours shorter or taller by adding or removing the branches. It's up to you. We take and cut the pieces of the wood and we lay them out. Once you have the pattern laid out and you have your wood pieces cut, begin to attach them, making sure that you use outdoor wood glue. These trees are going to be outside, and we use one and a fourth inch brads with the glue to attach the branches to the trunk. trees are rusted, but we'd like them to look pretty, so we're going to fill in all the nail holes with some wood putty. Also, be sure to look for any cracks, because this tree is going to be outside and you want it to be protected from the elements. While the wood putty is drying, we take a scrap piece of 3 inch wood and cut that to 16 inches long, then cut that in half to make our base. To keep our trees from falling over in the wind outside, we use tent stakes. We got these on Amazon. They come 30 to a bag. So tent stakes, very helpful, not just for camping. An inch and a half from the end of the board, we're going to drill a half inch hole. This hole will be used to attach the tent stakes. For windy weather, your tree will be secure. It's time to do some sanding. Look for sharp edges, get rid of any excess wood putty, make your tree nice and smooth and ready for painting. It's time to attach the base using wood glue and the brads for optimal strength for your tree. And it's time to paint. Using an exterior latex paint, give the tree two coats on each side. The more coats you give to the tree, the better it will withstand the conditions outside.
We're painting the tree. The color we chose was hunter green. You want to give the tree two coats. The more coats you give, the richer the color will be. The color we chose for the latex exterior paint on the base was brown. As we're painting, it looked purple, but believe me, it dries to a brown. To create a snowy effect, we used a sponge on the edges of the branches and then came in with little dots using a brush and the handle of the brush to create the snowflakes. We also used Q-tips to create a tiny snowflake effect. Now it's time to decorate the tree. On the left you'll see we drill some pilot holes and add the brass hooks for the ornaments. On the right side you'll see that we add the lights. We're using staples to attach the lights to the edge of the branches on the tree. For a small tree you'll use a 50 count light string. For a medium tree you'll use a 70 count. And for a large tree, you'll use 100 count light string. If you want to go bigger, you'll have to get more lights. Here comes the fun part, making the ornaments that go out on the trees. Now what I did was I found these disc. These disc ornaments are plastic, so they endure the weather. And they sit flat against the wood on the tree, so that's nice. If you've got a round ball, that would, that would look okay, but they would sit up more, and the wind tends to catch these, we found out. So we're going to take this empty disc and we're going to gently pull off the top and we're going to stuff it with tinsel. You could stuff it with a lot of different things but tinsel I find works really well and it also reflects the light in the day and the night. It's very pretty. What I do is take some tinsel. Now tinsel's fun to work with. If you ever wanted to do this with other people you can make it a race. How quickly can you stuff one of these? What I do is I grab a bunch of tinsel Tinsel is tinsel, it's crazy all over the place here. And it's gonna grab a goodly amount. It's gonna make a mess, and isn't that a pretty mess? And then I'm gonna just start folding it the best I can in on itself. You don't really have to worry about crimping it or making it look all creased, because that doesn't happen with this stuff. Now what's fun about this is if you use a lot of tinsel, you get more of a depth of color in the ornament. And if you use a little bit, that ends up being pretty too. Like a clear bulb with some stripes of color in it. You can use whatever color tinsel you like. I like the way red shows up from the road as you're driving by. Done. See how pretty? Pretty. Let's do another. Time to put on the ornaments. Now these disc shaped ornaments are better because they lay flat against the tree and they're less likely to blow off even though at times we have found these out in the yard with a strong wind. So what we do is take a pliers and we're just going to crimp down on this hook. We take that hook and give it a squeeze. And now that ornament is not going to fly off, Mr. Wind, and it will just look shiny in the day and beautiful sparkly at night. it. We've decorated our trees. They're out on display and they're lovely. So if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment. Ho ho ho! See you again.